Welcome to my channel, The Spoiler Zone. Your ultimate destination for in-depth analysis and captivating breakdowns of your favorite film. Alert this video contains spoilers. The Born Supremacy is a 2004 action thriller film featuring Robert Ludlum's Jason Bourne character. Although it takes the name of the second Bourne novel, 1986, its plot is entirely different. The film was directed by Paul Greengrass from a screenplay by Tony Gilroy. It is the second installment in the Jason Bourne film series and sequel to The Bourne Identity, 2002. The Bourne Supremacy continues the story of Jason Bourne, a former CIA assassin suffering from psychogenic amnesia. Bourne is portrayed by Matt Damon. The film focuses on his attempt to learn more about his past as he is once more enveloped in a conspiracy involving the CIA and Operation Treadstone. Actors Brian Cox and Julia Stiles reprise their roles as Ward Abbott and Nikki Parsons, respectively. Joan Allen joins the cast as Deputy Director and Task Force Chief, Pamela Landy. The film starts. Jason Bourne and Marie Kreutz are living in Goa, India. Bourne, who is still suffering from amnesia, records flashbacks about his life as a CIA assassin in a notebook. In Berlin, a CIA agent working for Deputy Director Pamela Landy is paying $3 million to an unnamed Russian source for the Nesky files, documents on the theft of $20 million seven years prior. The deal is interrupted by Kirill, a Russian Federal Security Service agent who works for oligarch Yuri Gretkov. He kills the agent and source, steals the files and money, and plants fingerprints framing Bourne for the attack. After finding Bourne's fingerprint, Landy asks Section Chief Ward Abbott about Operation Treadstone, the defunct CIA program to which Bourne belonged. She tells Abbott that the CIA agent who stole the $20 million was named in the Nesky files. Some years previously, Russian politician Vladimir Nesky was about to identify the thief when he was killed by his wife in a suspected murder-suicide in Berlin. Landy believes that Bourne and Treadstone's late supervisor, Alexander Conklin, were involved and that Bourne killed the Neskys. Gretkoff directs Kirill to Goa to kill Bourne. Bourne flees with Marie, Kirill follows and kills Marie, unaware that they switched seats amid the chase. Bourne leaves Goa and travels to Naples, where he allows himself to be identified by security. He subdues a diplomatic security agent and a carabinieri guard and copies the SIM card from his cell phone. From the subsequent phone call, he learns about Landy and the frame job. Bourne goes to Munich to visit Jarda, the only other remaining Treadstone operative. Jarda informs Bourne that Treadstone was shut down after Conklin's death, and attacks him. Bourne strangles Jarda to death, before destroying his home in a gas explosion as agents move in. Bourne follows Landy and Abbott to Berlin as they meet former Treadstone support technician Nikki Parsons to question her about Bourne. Bourne believes the CIA is hunting him again and calls Landy from a nearby roof. He demands a meet-up with Nikki and indicates to Landy that he can see her in the office. Bourne kidnaps Nikki in Alexanderplatz and learns from her that Abbott had been Conklin's boss. Bourne spares Nikki after she reveals she knows nothing about the mission. Bourne then visits the hotel where the killing took place and recalls more of his mission, he killed Nesky on Conklin's orders, and when Nesky's wife showed up, he shot her and made it look like a murder-suicide. Danny Zorn, Conklin's former assistant, finds inconsistencies with the report of Bourne's involvement with the death of the agent and explains his theory to Abbott. Abbott kills Zorn to prevent him from informing Landy. Bourne breaks into Abbott's hotel room and records a conversation between him and Gretkoff that incriminates them in the theft of the $20 million. When confronted, Abbott admits to Bourne that he stole the money, ordered Kirill to retrieve the files, 
and had Bourne framed before arranging for him to be silenced in Goa. Abbott expects Bourne to kill him, but Bourne refuses, saying Marie would not want him to, and puts a gun on the table and leaves. Landy confronts Abbott about her suspicions and he kills himself. Later, she finds an envelope containing the tape of Abbott's conversations with Gretkoff and Bourne in her hotel room. Bourne travels to Moscow to find Nesky's daughter, Irina. Kirill, tasked once again by Gretkoff with killing Bourne, finds and wounds him. Bourne flees in a stolen taxi and Kirill chases him. Bourne forces Kirill's vehicle into a concrete divider and leaves behind a seriously wounded Kirill as Gretkoff is arrested with Landy watching in the background. Bourne locates Irina and confesses to murdering her parents, apologizing to her as he leaves. Later in New York City, Bourne calls Landy. She thanks him for the tape, reveals to him his original name, David Webb, and his date and place of birth, and asks him to meet her. Bourne, who is watching her from a building, tells her she looks tired and to get some rest, as he disappears into the city. What I understand from the film is The Bourne Supremacy is a thrilling and action-packed sequel that builds upon the themes and characters established in the first film, further solidifying Jason Bourne as one of cinema's most iconic and complex protagonists. Subscribe and comment for more videos like this and thank you for watching.